tour guiding, of course, is part of the hospitality industry and focused a little bit more directly in tourism. And one of the interesting things about this particular job is that there are a million ways to come at it. There's a million ways to operate it. Now here in DC, uh, one of the quintessential jobs is to take the eighth graders around Washington DC and kind of introduce them to hands-on history, introduce them to uh, getting a chance to be a little independent, a little responsible for themselves. So you have a little bit history teacher, a little bit camp counselor, a little bit, you know, fun aunt uh, or uncle uh, taking them around the city. And so, as I said, there's a lot of different ways you can come at this. Uh, one of the most essential aspects is that you have to want to share uh, knowledge, information, experiences with the general public. There's those low hanging fruit stories, like again, telling you know the basics of the Washington Monument, 555 feet tall, like all of these kind of basic facts that everybody should kind of know as a, as a basis. And for a long time, that's how a lot of people thought about tour guides is almost a little bit of a scripted uh, style. But one of the things that we're finding just in general in tourism as a whole is this idea of providing deeper context. You see it in museums, which is actually my background uh, as museums, anthropology, art history. And we see them talking a lot more, not just about say the star, but also everything that went into supporting them. So whether that's the artist workshops and talking about the apprentices that are grinding pigments and learning, or if we're talking about planta plantation museums in the South and talking about the enslaved that helped enable the lifestyle that we are more familiar with. And as tour guides, we are very much, uh, many of us part of that movement as well. And so that's one of the really fantastic things about this organization is that we're trying to make those stories about the context of what the other half, the women uh, were doing besides just the men at the same time. And especially if you get into, say, the founding fathers, a lot of their wives were incredibly influential in the men that they became, as were their daughters, as were their mothers, as were the other women around them. And so uh, basically, this is a perfect organization to work with and enhance a lot of these experiences. And even better, because these stories are relatively unknown, uh, they're more fun to hear because you haven't heard them before.